and welcome back to redirecting. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, it's safe to say that at this point, many of us are starting to wonder what the heck is going on. Right now, we see something very historical happening. We are seeing police departments defunded, some of them disbanded, and they're trying to come up with another system that's going to be a lot better and safer for all. I've never heard this before. This year alone has brought so many surprises, so many surprises. And now this. Now, of course, there are those who are opposing this, those who believe that the policemen um, have done nothing wrong. Uh, there was one man who said that there is no black person who's ever been killed by the police who was um, innocent, something like that, he said. But so that lets you know that um, regardless to what the circumstances are, even if you were selling cigarettes like uh, loose cigarettes like Eric Garner, he felt like, uh, hey, uh, that was justified. This is this is how many people think they don't care what the situation is. They don't care how young the victim is. There are some who, despite knowing and finding out that Tamir Rice only had a toy gun in an open carry state where um, many other racial groups of people carry weapons loaded, fully automatic weapons and whatever, whatever. But anyway, there are those who, regardless to what the circumstances are, are going to see that black body as guilty, period. They could even hear the officers say all kinds of slurs and things and um, just do stuff that no human should have to go through to this person. And they will still side with the blue. You've got to know that those are the people who are just reprobate. They just can't stand you, period. Don't matter how innocent you are, how young you are, how old you are, they are going to side with the blue, period. But, um, it is safe to say that a lot of people are just, I mean, everyone's talking about this and it's very uh, strange happenings, seeing police departments um, funding cut and uh, some of them being completely just, just wiped out. Very strange indeed. Now, there are reasons for this. A lot of this is being tied to George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Aubrey and just countless others over the years. I mean, the list is just too long to even go into, but a lot of it is being tied to that because um, apparently all of a sudden people around the world are just fed up altogether. And so we're going to see where all of this lands, um, how it all ends up and um, what, are, what kind of trick is being played or if there's no trick being played at all, because it's very possible that the Most High has moved on their hearts to do what they are doing now. This, to me, if that is the case, this, I mean, all of it, either way it goes, proves that predestination is something that we need to understand and consider. But if all of these people at the same time really, truly change their mind, whether it's a fake changing of the mind or a temporary changing of the mind or a real changing of the mind, it all happens simultaneously. So it leads you to believe that there's some type of divine control taking place here. Because I can't believe that all of these people around the world, including the Amish and the NFL and even some white police officers and the Chinese and just various groups, I can't believe that they all got some type of email or memo at the same time and they all said, in sync, we're gonna root for black people and stick our necks out for them and help them. So. Again, whether this is real or fake, it seems as though there's some type of divine control taking place that have moved upon these people to go in the direction that they are going. This, this really makes me wonder about the scripture that says, who hath resisted the will of the Most High? Who hath resisted his will? Who can stay his hand and say, what doest thou? Even the scripture that says that the Most High himself created evil. So much to be understood. Um, I encourage you all, especially some of you who do not 
um, really follow our ministry channel, but you follow this channel, we have a series on predestination. I would love if you could take a look at that series. You will be truly blessed by what you will learn. Um, it's going to blow your mind, some of it. It will blow your mind if you really listen and pay attention to what is being said. Okay? Um, again, I invite you to take a look at that series. If I remember, um, I will leave a link in the comment section to um, part one of that series, and you can just kind of look for part two and three. We haven't created the playlist for it yet, but um, looking for part one, two, and three of the predestination series on the channel, they are all very recent, so it should be easy to find on the Watchmen Reports channel here on e YouTube. But again, uh, thank you for watching and tuning in. Uh, please consider the things that we speak about because uh, there is a lot to be understood um, as we navigate uh, through this uh, timeline that we call life. With that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.